Okay, we're back with another episode of um, Stupidity in the Game is Fair. Um, we're going to be talking about three things uh, in this episode of BS Busters, or su should I say Stupidity in the Game is Fair. Um, we're going to talk about, apparently, more bullshit from third parties in regards to Nintendo's uh, home console, and <laughs> then we're going to move mosey on along to... Um, just some general shenanigans we've been seeing this week from third parties in general. And then our final topic will be um, the disappointment of the 8th gen. So we'll be covering that. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Instead of me talking about what's coming up... Um, this week at the end of the video I'll talk about what's coming up at the end of the week um, early on uh, so right now if you will so basically um, tomorrow 7 o'clock to 8.30 we'll be doing an hour and a half podcast hopefully we'll be able to get um, Triple M back on board uh, Jewel Rider Moonstar and of course um, Contrarian Bastard we'll be talking about this is 8 bit hits. What's been going on in the gaming um, landscape? But the primary topic of, what's, of what we're going to be talking about next week, uh, this week, this is up Sunday, is old school gaming versus new school gaming. And we have people from all gamuts, uh, age groups. Um, you know, Triple M is a little bit older than I am. Um, Contrarian Bastard is a youngin. <laughs> Um, and Jewel is around the same age as me, so we're all kind of we're, we're all kind of old school. So we're going to be talking about all that shit, and uh, it's going to be great. So without much ado, let's get to the second part of this video where we talk about <laughs> apparently people in a math-based field who cannot count. So without much ado, let's get to it after the cut. So <laughs> basically when I say let's talk about someone who can't count, I mean literally people who cannot fucking count. So um, I have a PS3 controller here, a Xbox 360 controller here, and my uh, my Pro controller for both my Wii, my Wii, uh, my Wii U, and the Switch. Um, all of these controllers have between 12 and 16 buttons, depending on if you want to include the D-pad directionals, okay? Which I'm not, so let's say 12. They all have 12 buttons. Um, I know some people are going to say, well, you know, what about if you're talking about an Xbox 360? No, I mean, let's let's include it. Let's, let's fucking include, and let's just keep it real. The controllers haven't really changed that much. Um, between last gen and this gen, so, I mean, let's keep it real. So, 12 buttons, not including the home button, and, um, whatever. So, it's laughable that the studio behind Lawbreakers, Cliffy B's studio after he got run out of Epic Games, um... That one of the public, one of the developers would say the reason we're not putting this game on Switch is because it doesn't have the right number of buttons. That is really fucking stupid. <laughs> um, so, and, and and the reason it's really stupid isn't just because of what they said, but because, um, this guy is a developer. Um, he's working with computer code in order to create games. Um, computer, computer, the, the language of computers is rooted in mathematics. Um, and it's hilarious that someone who's a developer doesn't know how to count. <laughs> so either, 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 either the gentleman doesn't know how to count or... Or, he's full of shit. Um, I'm going with the latter. 
So essentially speaking, we're dealing with people who have a major attitude problem, if you will. So with that being said, let's move on to the segment, second topic after the cut. So this leads to our second, segues into our second topic, which is people who apparently think it's okay to say and do stupid things um, trying to essentially um, for the reason why they won't support the Nintendo Switch which I mean let's keep it right now let's keep it hot right now let's keep it let's keep it honest right now it is a pretty hot it's a pretty hot system at this point um, well I don't want you know because of what happened with the Wii U now let's keep it real the reason the Wii U failed is um, threefold first of all um, Nintendo trusted third parties to support it, um, which they didn't. They put a whole bunch of fucking ports on it that people already had. Like, um, people who had, um, you know, people who had Arkham Asylum already had that game. People who had Assassin's Creed on the PS3 or the Xbox 360 already had that game. They weren't gonna buy, they weren't gonna buy that again. And if you were thinking that a whole bunch of fucking ports were gonna make people wanna buy that system, you're insane. Um, <laughs> so you had people who were basically giving you a lot of ports for the Wii U, and then on one end, and then you had people who were fucking selling you um, games that were clearly inferior to other versions. For example, um, why would I spend sixty dollars on Breath of the? Why would I spend sixty dollars on? Um, Mass Effect 3 on the Wii U when I could get the trilogy for the same price on the PC, Xbox 360, or PS3. Makes no sense. Um, probably less on PC. Um, so, I mean, you, you kind of have to look at these things like, okay, clearly we were being fucked over as, as consumers. And we were, we were, we were being fucked over, but that's okay. So with that being said, what else can we can we say except, I mean, I mean, you know, and the last one was trust in third parties in the first place. Third parties look out for themselves first and everyone else second. They damn sure don't give a fuck about uh, the consumer because if they did, they wouldn't release broken ass games. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda <laughs> is an example of that. So essentially, you have to look at this like, okay, they don't give a shit about me, they don't give a shit about you, they don't give a shit about anybody, so why should we care about them? Answer is, we shouldn't. Um, so our final topic, which is, um, why should we, why are there no genre generation defining games of the 8th gen after the cut? Ooh, yeah. Um, this is, this is, this is, this is just purely my opinion, but I don't think there are any generation defining games of the 8th gen, um, at least not on a Microsoft or Sony console. Like, I mean, I could say, well, Splatoon for the Wii U, um, was generation defining because, you know, like there's really nothing else like it. Um, there was nothing else like it around at the time, but I mean, maybe Overwatch, but Overwatch is a PC game. I mean, yeah, I know that it's also on consoles, but it's primarily a PC game. That's what it's primarily played on. That's what it was pretty much made for. So it's kind of hilarious to me that people are like, you know, uh, like there's no, there's no generation defining games. Like if someone said, okay, during the 16th generation, you know, there was uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Mario World, Link to the Past, Chrono Trigger, like, there were multiple Street Fighter 2, there were games that were like, this is generation defined, there is fucking nothing like that, I mean, you could say, well, you know, Sunset Overdrive, but Sunset Overdrive was a fucking flop, so, eh. um, you could say, um, Call of Duty, but that game is just, ugh. I mean, Battlefield, eh, I mean, where are the games that basically make you say, wow, this is a reason to own this system? I can't think of any. Um, I mean, it used to be Halo, but Halo's shit these days, so... My point... is that the 8th gen has been a very disappointing gen. Um, 
and I wish that things were better, but they aren't. So what can we do? Uh, I, I, I have no fucking idea. I, I don't know what we can do. Um, the eighth gen has been disappointing. I wish it were better, but probably won't be. Um, sorry to be Debbie Downer for you guys. Um, you know, maybe it'll get better during the upcoming gen. Um, uh, you know, the ninth gen that's coming up, we aren't there yet. Um, even the Switch is a .5 console, so I don't know. Uh, maybe it'll get better. Probably won't, though, because things are going to get fucked. <laughs> so with that being said, um, give me your thoughts in the chat about what you think might be generational defining games of the 8th gen. I can't think of any, but you know, you might have a different viewpoint. So with that being said, um, peace, enjoy the rest of the video, um, and bye.